Every time you turn around, it seems like another print publication is closing shop or going digital only. But Sister to Sister magazine has been going strong for 25 years. Here to share how she's been able to thrive and stay relevant over two decades is publisher Jamie Foster Brown. Yes, welcome, yeah. welcome, hey, welcome. Jamie, you and you are here. Uh, <laughs> I'm here. I'm you, enjoying this. This is lovely. You brought the lovely. dress yeah, yeah, and the yeah. rhinestone belt and oh, the this, boots. This I thing. love it. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> This old thing. Oh my God! You all are wonderful. I thought he was twelve. I thought he was an intern. I said thank you. Wow. I'll take it. Look at that. That's amazing. How you all doing? We're good. good. Thank, thank you so you. much for being here. So, how has your publication been able to sustain for mm -hmm. this long? It's an what? institution at this point. Well, that's what they're telling me. I mean, it seemed like it went so fast. Mm -hmm. I had no uh, idea. I was Bob Johnson's secretary that which gave me the intro mm -hmm. into when he expanded Black Entertainment Television. Mm -hmm. Then I was able to deal with all the, the executives and the little baby acts like LL mm -hmm. Cool J, Whitney Houston, and all of them. Oh, wow. I put her on TV. I put them on TV first. Mm -hmm. And so then... Um, I was able to give information. I don't do gossip so much because they thought it was gossip, mm -hmm. only because the artists will tell me things they never told anyone else. Mm -hmm. And so they say, oh my God, this is gossip. I, they really revealed this? And I, but mm -hmm. it's not because the, uh, the artists always looked at them that they belong to me. In fact, black people just belong to me. Mm. I mean, the whole world does. But, uh, <laughs> whole world no, we does. know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. your world. We're right. just living in yeah, it. We know that's that. Right. You know, we're very and clear so about I, that. I never wanted to harm them, but I, I thought that I could use the celebrities to teach things. You know, mm. in our community, we, we always say, no, you don't talk about this, don't talk about that, don't take it outside mm -hmm. the family. However, we never grow, we never learn, we never do better. And through the celebrities, I, I asked them so many questions. Well, how did you get here? What kind of problems did you have? How did you, you know, evolve? How did you mm -hmm. get out of it? So there, I make them teach mm -hmm. within the pages of Sister to Sister. But Jamie wow. Foster Brown, you also get this scoop. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've mm -hmm. broken some of the juiciest because stories I've they ever feel, read. They feel free, they, I'm not going to change anything they say. They okay. know that. There's a lot of, just very honest. There's, mm -hmm. uh, they have confidence in me, and also, I tend to deal with the parents and the families because when you have celebrities and the media is so mean, it affects the family, the mothers, mm -hmm. the fathers, the sisters and all that. And sometimes they call because they feel like they have a safe place inside of sister to sister. Mm -hmm. And they can give me their concerns or things that I've had mothers of uh, rappers uh, say that my face appeared in, to them because they were so worried about their child. So my face appears and then they mm. call me wow. to get some sort of, you know, mm -hmm. relief from all the wow. pressure that they're in also. Mm -hmm. Well, you had a long career at this, but tell us about some of the early days and how you even started the magazine because you were coming from being Bob Johnson's secretary. What led yes, to you saying, I'm going to do was. this? <laughs> my little Bob. Um, Bob was a mess. Because, Jamie, you know, he you know, know, but he had a whip. Bob. You know, if we messed up, you know, in the beginning, well, there were only eight of us. Mm. Really? Started, uh, yeah, I was his secretary as an uh, advertising secretary, so I had to write the first pilot. You had to do everything. Really? If you had to put, um, you know, the Sounds the very familiar. <laughs> On. It's just whatever had to be done, you had to do it. Mm -hmm. And do so, it. but I was a great uh, secretary. So when it was time for him to uh, expand and do the first, you know, video, so with uh, Donnie Simpson and with Sheila Banks, it was two at the beginning. Uh, he asked me, "What do you want to go? Do you want to stay here with me and, and you know, in corporate, or you want to go to production?" I said, "I want to go to production." Mm. And he said, "Good. I need you to go over there and watch what they're doing because they're going to mess up anything." <laughs> I was a great secretary. I, I was. It was almost like it was my company, mm -hmm. and that's the way I had been taught by my parents that you work for a company, you act as if it's your own. But why a and magazine, from, Jamie? What what made you well, decide that you with, wanted to go into the world of publishing? Well, I really didn't. I didn't even know how to, to write. Uh, but I, I had so much information inside of me, and I wrote a little column. Um, this, this white guy named Joe Lawrence, he had Impact Magazine, and he used to call me up all the time. He said, downtown Jamie Brown, it's midnight. <laughs> You asleep? Not anymore. I'm not asleep. <laughs> I'm... And so he said, look, you know, I think that you should write because every time I talk to you, I get another story. You look at things differently. Uh, mm -hmm. And so he was the one who urged me to do it. And the day I decided to do it, I was scared because I said, I'm, Joe, I'm not a writer. I said, I, mm -hmm. I, he says, you write videos? So I said, up next, three videos? I don't think that's very deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but he says, no, but you can do it right the way you talk. Mm -hmm. Because I learn something every time you talk. And I, I finally got my courage up to, to do it. And I called him. Um, 
and uh, his son answered the phone, and he said he's not here, because I was going to tell him, look, I'll write in your little Impact magazine, and he had just died. <gasps> ten, ten minutes before I called. Wow. And one month later, I left, because he told me, you need to leave BET. Wow. To be who you are, you need to leave BET. He used to tell me that all the time. And now you're stepping into your own shoes. You're filling them after that experience. Oh, my God. And you say you don't gossip, but... It seems like gossip, because how do you pull this information out of some of the biggest celebrities? I listen. You listen. I listen to what they're saying, because mm. they'll, they'll say something like, uh, well, my, my father did such and such, and I said, well, hold up. <laughs> what was that like with, between you and your father? Because yeah. I really want to know. Mm. I have to paint pictures when I write. I have to paint a picture to my readers of what was really going on, so they see the images in their head. So that means I have to pay attention to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And if there's any gray areas, I want you to clear that up. For me. Oh, it's so, probably a trust issue there as well, wouldn't you think? Well, the, yeah. everything is about trust with sister mm -hmm. to sister because they feel that if they want to tell their story and have it told correctly, mm -hmm. like Fantasia just said that you have that. Mm -hmm. She just grabbed oh, me the oh, other oh, night. I got it. So this is the Fantasia yeah. cover. And mm -hmm. she grabs me and she says, I have to say something to you. She said, you're the only one who did right by me. You're wow. the only one with all the other publications. I appreciate you so much. And then uh, the other thing is that I don't let the artists go just because they don't have a record or out or a project out. I'm still in touch with them. Right. Now, tell us some of the biggest scoops you've broken I don't over even the years. Remember. Oh, come oh. on. I Lola don't... remembers. <laughs> well, tell, us, tell, tell us what you didn't put in the magazine. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what we really want to know. That's even better. <laughs> but what, what is really interesting. But you, I mean, the Swiss Beats Mashonda scoop alone, that was Yeah, but fantastic. what bothers me I mean, about because, that, let me tell you what bothers me about it. She spilled the beans to you about the whole situation, but alleged I, situation with Swiss it. Beats and Alicia Keys. No, this is the thing. This is what bothers me with Swiss. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I knew about the situation a year, a year and a half. I had done two interviews with Swiss Beats. Mm -hmm. And I had told uh, Mashonda, Mashonda had said that she would call, they would, they'll call and start talking about something, but they don't want it published at that time, so I will not publish it if you don't want it published. You're just wow. venting yes. at that time, and you're telling me your side, she's telling me her side. I'm not telling either, either one what the other one said. Okay, so I hold on to the interview, and then Mashonda comes out on with Vibe.com, and I said, so you decide to tell your story? And she said, yeah, but I'll, I'll tell it to you. So I'm, she's already let it out with Vibe. Right. Okay, I'm a little concerned about that, because I'm, you know, wait a minute, I, I've held this all this time. So anyway, she comes out with it, I, and then, but I still interview her, but, but now I've talked to Swiss. So I've said, but but isn't it true that such and such? But isn't it true that mm. this and this? So I'm giving no, his so side so that I'm trying to give both sides oh. of the story so that she just doesn't tell her one side. And mm -hmm. I'm asking Swiss, okay, I, you know, I have all this information about how you looked at it, how Alicia looked at it. You told me Alicia did her homework. You all weren't, you and Mashana weren't really together at the time. So, mm. so don't you want your side of the story out? And he says, no, uh, uh, Alicia doesn't want to talk about it. So. I'm left with just her side of the story, but I have his whole side of the story, but I haven't published it. Not yet. yet. <laughs> now, Jamie, you mentioned mm -hmm. Vibe.com, mm -hmm. and there are all these other new blogs mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. that consider themselves competition. What do you make of the bossips and the YBFs and the well, media takeouts of the world? Are they competition? Yeah, they're competition to a, in a way, but mm -hmm. our, our website is growing really exponentially mm -hmm. now, so, and we've been picked up by Interactive One, and I think that what what the um, ce celebrities are noticing that they're getting beat up pretty badly and people don't know them. In a way, it's, it's uh, good that I know them, they can come to me, but in another way is that you get scooped a lot because they'll put things out there that I won't necessarily put out or I can't get to the artists in time to see what their side of the story is. Mm -hmm. However, the artists are coming more and more. I'm more busy now than ever. Mm -hmm. I have so many places to go, so many things to do because this is a magazine. We have um, we have events. You know, I have these soirees where I put yeah. the the who's who people coming together because I want black people to know where we are and what we do so that we can we can do business together. This is mm. very important because we're always um, promoting something or number one with a bullet, whatever. But I want to know who are you? Mm. What do you want? What do you want to do with your life? A lot of times there are things that we can do together, and I'm and I like that. I'm a gatherer. You're 
here gathering. Yeah, I like that, yeah. And you gather the information. <laughs> I gather the information and the and, people. And you also stir up a lot of trouble as well. I know you've been very outspoken for many years about the violence and images of blacks in music, and it especially became important to you when it hit close to home. Uh, right, right. When your son right. Was I was very vocal about the images that were coming out with mm -hmm. uh, and And actually, I've been threatened by some of the rappers because I, I mm -hmm. spoke out on them. And uh, about the, the images and what they said is, this is thug life, this is cool, this is mm -hmm. what you do and all that. I mean, it was just crazy. They were Wait, grabbing that you package. Were, you were threatened oh, by I've some been rapper? Threatened. Mm. If they don't like what you're saying, I said, how do you have the right to go out there and say and, and write any mm. kind of music you want to for the masses, and I don't have the right to say what I, I feel about mm -hmm. it? See, they artists feel like they have a um, freedom of speech and they can burn a guitar on the stage. I can't, can't go to IBM and burn my computer <laughs> in the office. I'll be fired. So they get Wait, a chance who, to... who dared to threaten you? I've been threatened. I was threatened by Tupac. I was threatened by Suge. I was threatened by uh, the these. Remember when bitches with problems came out and all that? Their people threatening. Only because I printed. <laughs> what happened was that. <laughs> what had happened I, was. What had happened I was. I, was I, printed, I, uh -oh. I printed the lyrics before they came out because people oh, that were working okay. in some of the people that worked in the, uh, mm -hmm. the music industry, the women they were like when they would read some of those lyrics. I mean they would get. <sighs> They couldn't breathe. They, it yeah. was just too much. And they couldn't say anything because they would lose their jobs. Right. So what they did was that they would send me the lyrics uh, beforehand before it comes out. So what I would do, mm. I would just uh, print the lyrics, but with, you know, ampersands and dot, dot, dot and all uh -huh. that. You got the gist right. of what it was. <laughs> so that when that came out, <laughs> my God, everybody was like, what? what? I said, well, if you can't listen to what your children are listening to, at least read it. Mm, okay. I didn't say anything was bad about right. it. I put, it I, I put Kumo put D, it I put there. everything. Here it is. If you're going to put it on wax, I'm mm -hmm. going to put it on paper. Okay. So that, because you have to, you have to give the, the parents defenses. Mm -hmm. Of course, I got threatened by that label. I wouldn't take certain ads because they had one women's naked booties up there and all that. So, you know, they, you know, I said, well, I can't accept, accept this ad. They said, you better stop being Miss Good at Goody Two Shoes and get oh, this ad. Lord. You know what like I said? But those people Did are Did you no ever one, really no ever there. worry for your life, though? When you, I mean, Suge Knight, that's a big man. I, they hate, they put, um, well, Suge was just a big, what, what happened is that you get misquoted. Somebody said, oh, do you know she said this when it wasn't anything I said? Mm. I said that this was after uh, Suge's best friend had been killed at, um, at uh, Jermaine Dupree's party. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, Suge had um, Snoop and Puffy had... Biggie. Right. And I said, those two should, those, they got the two biggest rap artists. They should be together. Right. Mm. Somebody said that I said something else. I don't mm. even know what it was, but sure took offense to it. Mm. So, but I mean, but if he sees me today, he said, oh, here's my family. They forget. You know? right. <laughs> Good thing they forgot. <laughs> yeah. And before yeah. we go, we have to ask you, you know, what other trouble you're going to be stirring up next? <laughs> What's next for you? I, oh, oh. It's not it's just trouble. So, it's not okay. no. so what other stuff are we going to be excited I, to read in the magazine? Do you understand that I want world peace? Yes, yes. and we I like world that. Peace. Yes. So yes. what world peace initiatives will the magazine <laughs> be bringing to the well, masses in next? The, the, the issue that's out there right now is about mm -hmm. the moms in Chicago, and that's with uh, Tracy Edmonds on the cover. Mm -hmm. right. That okay. is something we have to really think about with the guns mm -hmm. and uh, what's happening to our, our children. I really am very interested in, like I said, I'm a gatherer, so I, mm -hmm. we have a lot of men in prison, and when they come out, I want to make sure they have some place to work so that they hmm. can be the heads of their family. So that's another thing I'm working yes. on, besides all the other gossip. Besides world peace know, and everything else. Well, well mm -hmm. like but, that. but before we that. go, so who's hooking up with who? Who's We're, stealing? Uh, who's mad? Uh, who's, uh, who's, uh, who's, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> you need to bring me. Lola wants the scoop. Where's the scoop? I want to break a story here today. <laughs> I can't even remember, think about now. What are they asking me? Who was I with? I, there's so much that comes to my head. They're asking me about Nene and the prenup, so I got to go find out about that. Okay. Uh, 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 Tony and I'm, I'm trying to get Tony some, with some people because of her lupus. Mm -hmm. I want Tony Braxton to be uh, get a little better. She's looking for a little boyfriend, mm -hmm. and you know she's gonna be. You yeah. know she's so cute. <laughs> and the uh, the mother, um, we're looking for a boyfriend for her too. Okay. okay. You know, so right. so we'll okay. go to sister to sister to get all the latest on yes. those stories. Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Thank you so thank much you for joining so, us today. Thank you so much. Oh, thank so you for having me. This you. is so lovely here. Yeah, you must come back. Okay. Yes. And break some news.
More news, we want the want dish. Now, see, they want the news so that everybody else can pick it up. You know, it's all about the numbers when it comes oh, okay. to that. <laughs> Fair enough. I have to break Fair the enough. news with my magazine. Okay, but I'll when give you, you break the news, you bring this back to magazine. Okay. Current issue of Sister to Sisters on newsstands. Thank you so much, it's Jamie Tracy Foster. Emmons, right. Oh, Tracy Emmons. Okay, she's right. in the wall. Thank you so much for being here. Thank You're you. coming back. Mm -hmm. You're bringing us a scoop and another fabulous outfit. We can't oh, wait. This is always fabulous. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.